Oh, whoa. This is aesthetically pleasing, but not quite right. It's not gonna work, so back into the shade we go. Hello everyone, welcome to my weekend outfits. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm trying it a little different this time. I'm actually, you know, showing you the outfits day by day, letting you know what I'm up to that day, context, all of that good stuff. Very casually shot, but I have a feeling you guys will like it. Basically, my eternal struggle of trying to dress kind of cool, but also be extremely comfortable. So if that calls to you, then be sure to check out all of the outfits. Hope you like it. It. let's get straight into what I'm wearing today. You guys tend to ask me a lot where I get my basics, like my basic turtlenecks and my t-shirts, and genuinely the Zara ones are great because they offer such a good range. You guys probably will be seeing these turtlenecks a lot this week because I have them in black and white and they're the best turtlenecks I've ever found. I haven't quite found them online yet, but I'm gonna have another look for you guys. And as always, everything uh, from this week will be linked in the description below or something similar. So I have that. I have a old mango boyfriend style shirt on top. I think they always do a shirt like this tied in the front. Really love how the turtleneck layers underneath. I think it's a pretty cool look if I do say so myself. And then my new ASOS design rigid denim jeans. These are fantastic. Would recommend sizing up because they are super rigid. Um, but yeah, they cut off at a really nice place. I'm about 5'6". A lot of you guys ask me my height for just so they come around my ankle length and then I've got like higher socks and dad trainers from Zara on. So I think my jacket will be my new Nanushka jacket, which I haven't showed you guys on yet. I totally would recommend the Nanushka puffer jacket. I showed you guys it in my haul about two weeks ago, I think by the time this video goes live. And I feel like I've already gotten my cost per wear. I pretty much wear it every other day and um, it's just a really good one. It was a bit of an investment piece as you guys know from anyone that watched the haul but it's so worth it. It's basically a faux leather, all vegan, no animal products puffer jacket and I love the brand Anish guys. My favorite thing ever being like buttoned up with this coat and just walking around New York. It's the coziest jacket. I might look back at this look in 10 years and hate it but for right now, I feel like it adds a cool edge to all of my winter outfits and um, it's practical as well. So easy, monochrome, black and white look for you guys today. Howdy partners, another day, another outfit. Purely just to go have lunch with Karen and then I'm just having a work day from a coffee shop. I've got a video to edit today. Um, so this is like my comfy, casual look. Hair is just down in heatless waves, which again, I have a tutorial on on my Instagram highlights. My Instagram is here. It's just at Tarmar, same as all of my social media. Very light, soft makeup, my little hoopies in. The Zara turtleneck that I can't take off. And then this is what the full looks like. Kind of like a camel cardigan floating on a black cloud. This is what I'm gonna call this look. ASOS jeans, which I love a lot. They're ASOS design. Um, they're rigid denim, so definitely size up. I love them. They're sort of a straight leg with a little bit of a raw hem, old Tony Bianco shoes, which I tend to whip out a lot around this time of year. Um, if they still sell them, I'll link them below, but they are old, so if not, I'll link something similar. But this is my favorite jean style. Anything that's sort of, you know, nice on the thighs, but then from just above the knee down, it's sort of just straight and not clung to me. It's a lot more slimming on my body shape. So yeah, the cardigan is from Mango. I got it a while back and um, they don't have the exact color in stock, but they have a similar color. These are my accessories. I've got some Ray-Bans. Oh my God, why do I have no shoulders? <laughs> my bags are always sliding off, I swear to God. Um, but yeah, this is the full look again. Sans holding the camera just to give you a better idea. Love the drape on this cardigan. It's so nice, so comfy, and really just slouchy and effortless. So it was a really good buy. Off to lunch now, I'm late. I, I need to go, I need to go, people. Hello one and all to another day. I am heading into Manhattan. I've got an event, meeting a friend, the normal daily blogger job lifestyle type stuff. Wearing my super cozy jumper from Mango. I just have been gravitating towards it so much. If you can get it, get it because it is the, probably one of the nicest jumpers in my closet. I'm getting so many compliments on it. It has these nice big balloon sleeves, very chic silhouette. And uh, yeah, you guys showed a lot of love for it when I wore it in my haul. So very simple outfit today, regular go to Saint Laurent 
the pouch bag, um, the mango sweater, like I said, some white jeans. These are kind of like an off-white from Mango. They're just old, they've got a rough hem, and then I've just got my well-worn uh, Zara Dad sneakers on with some like higher socks. A little bit of ankle poking through there, but yeah, just kind of a wintry, bright outfit. The same black puffy Nanushka jacket that you've seen already in this video on top, just because I feel like with sleeves like this, there's so few coats that fit over it, and that one is a perfect jacket for that. Yeah, I definitely need to go on the hunt for another winter coat. I might actually have a look in some vintage stores this week, because I feel like the silhouette in a coat that I'm looking for is almost that like 80s big shoulder long line vibe so if any of you guys have any recommendations if you've seen a coat like that really comfy really casual if anyone's looking for me i'll be hibernating inside my turtleneck yeah it's just easy i'm very very happy with it and it definitely feels like it turns heads when i go down the street it's a little bit extra for my neighborhood i'm not gonna lie it's weird i go to manhattan and everyone's dressing a little extra i don't know if you saw pink duffel coat lady but i channel her when i wear this coat okay as usual i'm late gotta run Hello there everyone, welcome back to another day in the life of Tara trying to be comfy casual. Hold on, I actually need to zip this bad boy up. Now, I can't get it to sit up quite as high as the model had it. She had it more as a turtleneck, but I love it all the same. I actually quite like the look of it opened too, but I'm wearing a very bright top, you guys know I've been loving my blues and um, the, the obsession has not ended yet. I really, really love all of the shades of blue in stores at the moment. This is a top from and other stories it's new in. I bought it in the Bryant Park and other stories uh, maybe like two weeks ago. And uh, I actually just found it in my closet there. I totally forgot that I even got it. Did that happen to anyone else? Maybe just me? Anyway, I'm happy I got it because I thought I lost it when I went looking for it. And um, yeah, the lighting is kind of crazy again today, but I'm just wearing it with black jeans, my little ripped ones I've been wearing all week from ASOS Design, super comfy and they have stretched out a little bit as well so they're like really really comfy now. I got the top in a small and on hindsight I'm a, about a UK size 8, US size 4 on the top ish. Um, I probably should have got the extra small because it's like a little loose and I think this kind of top looks better like almost when it's skin tight and there's not too much baggy areas. I feel like I'm tucking it in quite a lot but it's really cool. It's this super nice slinky type fabric. Yeah, it's just like a nice little extra layer you can wear for warmth that actually looks kind of cool. It almost looks like that vintage type sportswear. So yeah, I actually did find it quite hard to find something to go on top of this top, like without a suitable piece of knitwear in my closet. So now I'm on the hunt for like the perfect piece of knitwear to layer it with. But the thing that I feel like it went with the most in my closet right now was just my like fuzzy Zara little fleece that I got. It's just a shirling fleece. It's just the kind of thing that I wear when I'm like running to the shop or like, you know, going to the cinema with my boyfriend and I'm like being super low key. It's just a handy piece that way. And um, it's cozy, what can I say? It's I'm gonna go run my errands now in my big fuzzy jacket. Hopefully I'll be warm enough. Might grab some gloves on the way out and See you later. I was just supposed to be kind of chilling and doing work today, but I'm gonna meet up with Ruth and we might shoot it. So before I head out the door, I may put on some makeup, but I wanted to show you the look first in its original no makeup concept. I really, really need to take a fine look and try and find a link for these Zara turtlenecks because they are my favorite turtlenecks I think I've ever, ever worn. <laughs> They're so good. Um, so I'm just wearing it again. There's probably still makeup on the inside from the last time. Yup. But we'll hide that. That's fine. And then these trousers. I think this is their first official look on the vlog. But I've worn them quite a bit already. Talked about them on Insta stories there and other stories. And they are just the perfect masculine trouser like I can't recommend them enough the cut is perfect on the ankle um, I'm probably going to pop a belt on but I just wanted to, to show you how beautiful the look is on the waist they're like very premium feeling trousers and they don't wrinkle or do anything annoying like that so they're the kind of trousers you can style in like a corporate way or just in a casual way which is obviously how I'm wearing them I have paired them with my Saint Laurent little canvas Stan Smith style trainers, I suppose. What would you call this type of shoe? I wear them all the time, but these ones are like the pre-scuffed up ones. And honestly, I thought 
I'd hate that they were kind of an accident I didn't really see that detail too much online having them pre-wrecked has weirdly been better because I'm not as heartbroken every time I get on the subway jacket wise I'm wearing one of my go-to favorites in my wardrobe that I've had for ages this boxy satin finish and um, with this really nice ribbed collar jacket from weekday I just love that it's one big box the pockets are boxy silhouette is boxy and um, the sleeves are nice and loose as well so it's a nice like overcoat type thing like a light layer I'll probably put another jacket on top of this before I head out casual boyish type outfit for when I'm feeling my masculine energy a bit more I um, love this jacket from weekday I always get so many questions when I wear it but it is always if I can find anything similar I will yeah I've added a belt to the trouser these are the and other stories trousers and um, this is just a cheapy little belt from Amazon that I got specifically for these trousers pretty good what I like outfits like these because they're comfy and they're casual but I still feel good when I go out if you get me like I still feel like I've tried okay time to go do some work so which outfit was your favorite let me know in the comments below I would chat to you guys there and yes I may look familiar in this outfit because I'm actually shooting this outro being proactive on the first day because I always forget to film outros for these type of videos so hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one Mwah.